Hey guys, Mizzo Frizzo here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a line trace from the barrel of your weapon. For anyone that's following along with my true first person shooter tutorial series, this is part seven, but it is also a standalone video for anyone that wants to learn how to do this. For anyone that is following along with the series, fear not, I am going to go back and do more content about animating the hands and work through a lot more of that with you give you some more tips and tricks on how to do that well. Um, but today we're just going to look at drawing a line trace from the barrel of your weapon. So back in the day, what would usually be done is a line trace would just be drawn from the center of the player camera. So when you aim down the sights, the sights are just going to come up to the center of the camera and that's where your bullets would go. But these days we can afford to do some more nifty stuff, especially with Unreal Engine 5. This stuff is super easy to set up. So if I fire here, you can see that the lines are being traced from the barrel of my weapon. And if I aim down the sights, you'll see that these line traces are going from a slightly different position there. Also, if I go over to a corner and I'm peeking around the corner, the center of the camera might be pointing around the corner here, but when I'm aiming from the hip, the gun is actually facing the wall. So if I fire, you'll see that that line trace is actually clipping on the wall there. And if I aim around the corner, I can actually shoot around the wall. Another application of this, which I think is pretty cool, is if you want to implement an armor style aiming dead zone system, then these traces will go wherever you are pointing in the world from wherever your weapon is in the world. If you're interested in learning how to set up a system like this, I highly recommend you follow along with my true first person shooter tutorial series where we are building up to setting up a system just like this. I'd also highly recommend, if you haven't seen it already, checking out my tutorial on how to make a weapon system in Unreal Engine 5, where we create a weapon system with simulated physics pickups. So I'm able to pick up these objects in the world and it will spawn a pickup of the weapon that I'm currently holding down in front of me like so. Another added benefit of uh, this kind of system is if you were looking for a bit more realism in your project, um, and you didn't want the player just to be able to mash fire and land every single hit, then if I fire here and I fire again very quickly, you'll see that that second round has just gone up. And if I mash fire, I'm going to miss pretty much every single shot, which is uh, a bit more realistic than what's in most video games. Um, so I actually have to wait for the barrel to drop back down. And if I don't wait quite long enough to let the barrel drop all the way down, then those shots are going to go high. This also works with a fully automatic fire logic, which I show you how to set up in uh, my how to set up a weapon system tutorial. So if you're interested in that, check that out. But without further ado, let me show you how to do this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create some barrel sockets on our weapons mesh so that we know where to draw the line trace from. So for me, uh, I've got these two weapons here. Uh, the first one is pistols A, and I'm just going to open up the skeleton of that skeletal mesh. So I've got my skeletal mesh of pistols A here. And on the root bone, I'm going to right click and add socket and I'm going to call this socket barrel. Um, it's worth taking note of exactly what you call this socket. I'm just going to call it all lowercase barrel. Okay, and I'm going to select barrel and I'm going to move it to the end of the barrel here. It doesn't have to be uh, exactly in the center of the barrel. Um, but you can get it pretty close and that's fine right there just you know half a millimeter in front of the barrel um, right at the center there that's all we need to do save and close that and I'm also going to do it for this assault rifle which for me is in military wep dark weapons I've got assault rifle B here assault rifle B skeleton and again, I'm going to right click on the root bone and add socket. And I'm going to give this the exact same name. 
on every weapon so that I don't need to go looking for different socket names. I'm only ever going to look for this socket barrel. Um, I can select barrel and I can move it into place. Oops. And you want this um, arrow for the X axis to be pointing in the direction that you're going to fire. Um, we will have to fiddle with the rotation of these sockets shortly just to make sure that our line traces uh, hit in the correct position when we're aiming down the sights. Um, but once again, the actual position doesn't have to be exact, but just as close as you can get it to the center is fine. That's good for now. The next thing we're going to do is uh, implement our line trace logic. So here I've got my firing logic and just as part of my firing logic, um, I'm going to add a call to a custom event called line trace. So first we're going to create a custom event, call it line trace. And then we're going to call that up here line trace and I can just duplicate that I'm going to put it on the end here of my fully automatic firing logic so every time we fire line trace is called um, if you're following the series uh, this only looks very slightly different because I've just moved the can shoot to um, the beginning here which makes more sense because later on when we set up ammunition and whatnot um, you can set can shoot off of off of that um, and I would also need to put that on uh, my semi-automatic firing logic like so okay so every time we fire it's calling this line trace custom event which is going to be down here where we can put all of our line trace logic right here. So um, the main node that we need is line trace by channel, line trace by channel. This draws a line trace and we just need to tell it where to start and where to end. So um, to get our socket that we've just created, what we need is our current weapon. Uh, so we'll get our current weapon and again if you don't have this kind of things uh, set up I highly recommend you check out my how to set up a weapon system in Unreal Engine 5 where we go through all of this because this system is very malleable you can use it for a lot of things uh, for example I'm pulling up whatever current weapon my character is holding and then I'm able to uh, check the weapon model get the weapon model which is the skeletal mesh of my current weapon. I am then going to get the socket location, get socket location, whoops, get socket location. And I'll also get socket rotation. And the socket name will be barrel just make sure you spell it exactly the same as it was when you created it. If you um, are unsure of the exact spelling, open up your skeleton, select that socket and hit F2 to rename and then just control C to copy that name. But I remember that I made mine barrel all lowercase, so that's fine. Off of get socket rotation, we're going to get forward vector. and forward vector we are going to multiply by a big number um, we can change this to float single precision and let's just make this 10,000 and we are going to add these together this is a little bit cramped here which I do not like So current weapon, weapon model, get the socket location of barrel and the socket rotation of barrel. And we are adding the socket location 
to the socket rotations forward vector times by 10,000. And this can go into the end of the line trace. And the start of the line trace is just going to be the socket location, like so. Uh, trace complex, draw debug type. We can put this as for duration for five seconds. This is just the uh, the lines that it draws. It shows gives you a visual representation of the line trace. And actors to ignore. We can ignore the current weapon. This will make a make array here so you can add whatever needs to be ignored um, but apart from the current weapon I would just say that it's self that needs to be ignored it depends on the kind of game you're making but we've got ignore self here and we can ignore the current weapon as well off of out hit what you can do is you can do break hit result and this allows you to get all of the data from your hit result um, and what you might do is a uh, branch off of return value to just make sure that you have indeed hit something. And um, you know, if you if you have hit something, you might apply damage. Um, we're not going to go into applying damage in this tutorial, but um, you know, this is this is kind of where you would start moving towards applying damage. And you know, your base damage might even be your current weapon get damage which we set up in previous tutorial and that would be the damage that is caused etc 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 um and yeah you would you would go from there but uh for now we are just this is all we set out to do we're drawing a line trace from this um, barrel socket that we've created on the skeletal mesh um and that should be all good to go if I hit play now, pick up a weapon, I'm drawing a line trace from the barrel of my weapon. Uh, one other thing we might want to look at before we call it quits is where this socket is pointing in relation to our, the sights of our weapon. So this will just take a little bit of playing, but obviously you want that to land uh, where your sights are aiming. So we need to bring this socket down a little bit let's find our pistols a skeleton select the barrel and with rotation oops, sorry get my camera speed down uh, with rotation snapping off we just want to rotate this let's say you know less than five degrees down that might even be overkill just a couple of degrees down and then just a little bit of trial and error to see where this is landing now it's landing a little bit low now so even two degrees was a little bit of overkill let's go up by 1.1 degrees try again that's pretty close it's up to you to play with that a little bit maybe you want your weapon to have a little bit of you know odd sort of uh you know uh trajectory to it um but let's also just double check this one is working and that one's going way too high compared to the sights when i'm aiming down the sights so i will also fiddle with that one assault rifle b skeleton select the barrel and Let's only do a little bit this time because, as we saw, a little is a lot. A little bit more than that. Another one and a quarter degrees. Let's see how that looks. I think that should do it. Oof, that's pretty close now. I like, I like how that's working. That's all we set out to do today, guys. Uh, if this video has been of any value to you at all, please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.